I am here in appreciation for the life and the service of Selena Hollis, as well as of all of our officers who serve the great city of Denver. We're here to celebrate the great life of a great officer, and may we never forget the life and the service of Selena Hollis. Today is not about those tragic events that took place on June 24, 2012. Today is about remembering Selena, our friend, what she meant to each and every one of us. Today we honor Selena by being here, united. I can't imagine how hard this is for the family, but I want you to know that there's not a day that goes by where I don't carry a piece of Selena in my heart. You know, as a chief, you don't get to, you don't get to know all the officers. I kind of make it a point not to know the chief of police, but I was blessed to get to know Selena. She was the president of the Black Officers Association, and we would meet on a monthly basis. She was one of those individuals that in the meeting, whenever there was an issue or a challenge, she always had a solution. And I will tell you, that is a, that's a rare quality to find today in, in a lot of individuals. We now have another place to remember those times we had with Selena during her short but powerful time here with us, but also a place for the community and people who may have not known Selena to reflect on what she did that day and that she gave the ultimate sacrifice for the community and she shall never be forgotten. All of those who visit this park, the very park where she lost her life two years ago, will be reminded that she gave all to protect the community and her fellow officers. She was temporarily a Denver police officer, but she's permanently with you in your glory, Father God, and we thank you for that.